UC located some scoring punch off the bench during its last game when Farad Cobb pumped in 24 points on 6 of 8 shooting from 3-point land. The win got Mick Cronin's team's guys off to a 2-0 start, which could become 3-0 with a win tonight over Eastern Illinois. Another good crowd at 5th third. They saw Gary Clark break free into the open floor, and Gary slams down two of his four points. Troy Payne really coming along. Second-year guard with a career-high 17 points, also had six rebounds. Jermaine Sanders later on filling the wing with the left hand. Seven points on an efficient three of five from the field. Cats starting to gain a little separation here. Octavius Ellis. Working in the post. He's going to follow his own shot. 13 rebounds tonight for Ellis to lead the UC Bearcats as they move to 3-0 with a five-point win. They won't blow out a lot of teams, but they will get a lot of wins this way. Coach Cal's guys, speaking of blowouts, ran out to an early lead tonight against Montana State. Willie Cauley-Stein, the SWAT, triggering Aaron Harrison's slam at the other end. 18-4. We saw that play a few times the other night. Leading 23-7, Tyler Euless bangs down a three. It's a 19-point game. A few minutes later, Trey Lyles flips back door. Devin Booker finds him for the alley-oop, 30-7. That is literally all the Cats would need, 30 points. In transition now, Andrew Harrison to Kyle Towns, 86-28, the final. Kentucky covers. Number 20, Ohio State hosting Sacred Heart. How about this star for the Buckeyes? Circus shot from D'Angelo Russell. It's a good first bucket. D'Angelo looked good early. Freshman down the lane, nicely done with the left hand. 20 to 11, Buckeyes up. He had 32. OSU now up 20. Mark Loving, loving, shooting, and scoring. 44, 21, Buckeyes. Now on the run, Russell to Sam Thompson. These were all first half highlights, mind you. 52, 27 at the break. Buckeyes cruise to 3 and 0, winning 106, 48.